know for a long time he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. champion of the world. for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 216 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Dollar Bill. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. in this division can grapple as effectively as he can, but maybe some pause tonight given the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt on the other side. Yes, and he may use his grappling in reverse to stay upright because this Jiu-Jitsu fighter is such a great fighter. He's such a fantastic fighter. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it. That standing may be this grappler's best chance to win the fight. how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
timely defense there. Huge block for him. Look at him drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Nice punch there by Nermanko Medov. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Single collar tie now. Left hand punch to the clinch. Big body kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice hook lands. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Nice strike. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, nice jab. All 25 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Nurmagomedov. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Now going upstairs with the left hook. And both guys really throwing with authority. Under two minutes in round one. Beautiful kick. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Kick Lance, he's hurt. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. What a tricky head kick. Throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Under a minute to go in our opening round. <laughs> nice kick. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. Again, they will clinch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Good run. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he landed the right hand there. Marco Medov's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one of them. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kick, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is Great going fight. to continue Great. to go down the same path. Good. All right, round two. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that's a 
a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Nice leg kick. Oh, misses with the jab. Straight punch lands. Strike attempt there as he lands the hook. Beautiful hook. Really did a great job of keeping his back hand on his chin, throwing that hook, and putting it exactly where he needed to go. Uppercut there blocked by Nermago Metal. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Leg kicks. Liver kick. Take those kicks. It's gonna shut your body off. He lands a switch. Both knee. guys appeared to land there. Swing and a miss by Nermago Medoff. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away and in one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed upright. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Head kick. An uppercut landed. Nice straight punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one two punch there by Nermago Medov. Big leg kick land. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Ooh, what a punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Unable to. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Punch over the top. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands often. And he counters with a left hand. Of inches right there, Damn, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, and he caught the kick. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. 
right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, the action continues here and now as our next fight. round gets fight. underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. And there comes the separation now. Now a kick to the body. Great punch. Right hand upstairs. Continuing to go to the head. Big straight left. Blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Wow, huge head kick. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badger in that left side of the body. type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Three, two, three. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And Armago Medov gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Over and over, he landed with a big body kick. All right, single collar tie now. Hey, hands up, hands up. Very nice leg kick there by Nermago Meta. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, nice straight left there. That strike blocked by Nermago Meta. Counters there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice punch there by Nermago Meta. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Punch is blocked. Oh, massive kick. Didn't see that one coming. Just a slip there. Oh! And he switches to southpaw. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Wow. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. My goodness! Jab attempt there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he'd have to find the right opportunity and 
right, right times to land those strikes. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Oh, nice job with the knee strike there. That'll wake you up. He thought it would be available. He just knew he had to find the right time to go with that with the right time. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both of them displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Real nice body kick land. Big and kicks. Oh, Roundhouse, talk to me about that kick. He is throwing his entire body into that kick to the point that he turns all the way around before he can face his opponent again. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big kick lands. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Nice kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, looks as though his leg here, you can even see him limping a little bit. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Can't take many of those, you better check. Let him go. Time to let those hands go. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it. A huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Nice punch lands nice. over the top. Nice. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man.
And there he is, the baddest man on the planet. All smiles tonight. You and your winner by TKO here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Ben. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult to take this belt away from this champion.